Hello, Magic players. It's Corn Time 60, that corny guy, back again to do the Tinkerer's Cube draft. Now, I had fun the last time. I actually had some fun the last two times, so. Figure I'll fucking do it again. Alright, here we go. Assuming that seat fills. I'm gonna go get some water in the meantime. They did it like the last fucking second for some reason. Diabolic Tutor. I need a Diabolic Tutor in real life. What the fuck does this do? Sacrifice three permanents. You know, I feel like Baba La Saga could actually be insane if you have a lot of tokens. Pop it, Stitcher do. Yeah, I don't know. Pelt Collector is good. I think Nimble Obstructionist is good. Diabolic intent. Oh no, it's not a it's not a demonic tutor, it's a diabolic intent. Precursor Golem's also pretty good. Actually, Celestis is probably the best pick if I don't know what I'm doing. Because it's just mana. Drivnod's pretty good. Thran Spider did some work last time. Yeah, and his expertise is okay. I think I'm going to take the Thran Spider, because I still don't know what I'm doing. Drivnod's not bad. Drivnod is the most, like, creature-looking of the Domini, I think. Ravenous Squirrel. Yeah, Ravenous Squirrel with Baba La Saga sounds kind of nuts, actually. I'm gonna grab the Thran Spider though. What does he do? Whenever you cast a creature spell, get one one. Okay. I don't have to be in green red like before, but honestly, Escape to the Wilds is pretty good. Until the end of your next turn. Like, I didn't think it was a great card, but it lets you cast them the whole next turn. Vigilance Menace Lifelink, though. We'll grab the... Hound. Probably won't run it. It's an option, though. Traxos. I do like Seize the Spoils. From an opponent's graveyard. I do also like Thopter Mechanic, honestly. Or you cast a historic spell on Tappan. I don't know. Seems like value. Thopter Mechanic also seems like value. If I'm in black white, I can grab Vanishing Slash. Something will make tokens. Those tokens plus that many squirrels. I don't know. He's not the best. I'll get Traxos. An artifact you control becomes a copy of another target artifact or creature you control until end of turn. Um, Inspiring Overseer, Briarbridge Tracker are both good. I think the Briarbridge Tracker is better than the, um, 
the Overseer, actually. Can't block and can't be blocked. That's also pretty good. Alter is okay. I like, if you go for Reanimator, I guess it's pretty good. Jaxus is okay as well. Sahili is okay. I'll get the tracker. I still don't know what color I'm in. Or colors. Another non-token creature you control dies. It connives. When it dies, return a non-rogue creature card with equal or lesser power. So far, just Thran Spider. You control a human creature and a non-human creature. Sin Prodder is pretty darn good, actually. Tezzeret's Gambit. Draw two, proliferate. Meh. No Priest is pretty good, and No Priest does work with Kuno Rus. Conspiracy Theorist is not bad. I think I'll take the No Priest. I'm not necessarily in black, though. So you do. Army attacks each opponent loses X life, and you gain X life, where X is the number of attacking creatures. If him and a creature named Phyrexian Dragon Engine are attacking, and you both own and control both of them, then meld them into Big Mishra. Um, God Pharaoh's Gift. Can't believe I almost missed that. How's that work with this? Future cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield, and players can't cast spells in graveyards. God Pharaoh's Gift still works. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Tap another untapped non-token artifact you control at green. Tap two, exile your top. Damn, that's actually really good. So is Whirler Rogue, though. I don't know if anything else blue right now. Could be green-red. I mean, it fits with the artifact theme. I could even be Jund at this point. Baba La Saga came around. I don't know how this one works. Is this one or the other, or is this one and then the other? Let's assume I'm in green-red. Is this actually worth it? Discard, draw two. Not really. I guess it's Baba La Saga. We may be in Jund, actually. Skullport's not bad. Creature or a treasure draw a card. I think the squirrel's pretty good, though. Escape to the wilds, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Seize the spoils all, so take it. Suppose the tech wrecker is better. Depends how aggro I want to be. What else do we have? Gisela is insane. Really wish I was in the colors for that. What does this do? Sacrifice a creature. I'm gonna need a bomb or two. Logamos is also pretty good. I'm more in red green. Big score works well with Sacrifice an Artifact or Creature. Yeah, big score goes well with lots of things, but I think I'll take Lagamos. I'm feeling jund right now. I'm feeling kinda jundy. Sedgemore Witch is kind of nuts, actually. How many instants of sorceries do I have, though? One, two... T literally just two? Okay. What does this do? And I could cut two cards and cut black as well. Other tapped creatures you control have Death Touch. Other untapped creatures you control have Hexproof. One tap, untap another target creature you control. Um, we should add Vigilance. This also has Menace. Could cut three cards and be out of red. Raids is pretty good. 
Lamholt's pretty good. Hot Springs okay. What happens if I cut red and go into just black instead? Jadar is good with the squirrel. Lamholt is kind of nuts in general. Huh. I'll get him. Fists of Flame. Draw a card. Um, yeah, I mean, draw a card, lose one, but we both do it. I feel like Key to the City is worth it, actually. Simeon Simulacrum's good, but... Key to the City lets me make something unblockable every turn. If I play that with Traxos or anything. Simulacrum's the easiest to run. Retrofit or Foundry kind of just does the game on its own. What does Goblin Engineer do, though? I actually don't have a lot of cheap artifacts. I'll take Retrofitter. But if there are four more card types, you get three one twos. Target opponent loses one life for each spider you control. I do like Thraben Inspector. Costs two less to cast if you gain life this turn. Or Morbid Opportunist is also pretty dang good. But I feel like having a removal spell is probably worth it. Blood for Bones is okay. I think Temple. Nah, Majestic Miriarch. Do I see any other good lands, though? Then you make sacrifice any number of creatures. So if I sacrifice two creatures, this is a four drop. It's actually not bad. If I'm still in red, this is what I'm looking at. If I'm still going Jund, which Celestis would help with, Fable Passage would also help. I kind of like Big Score. But I also kind of feel like I should have some fixing. Rootbound Crag. If it's red green, I have two good fixers. So cutting out black would hurt pretty bad right now. Cut out black, that's one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Seven? Oh, yeah, that's brutal. Um, but Sage is not bad. Hot Spring is pretty good too, though. Not sure how I care how I feel about the Shield Breaker. We'll take Vosaju. Take Bitter Reunion. All right, we're going into pack three. The decent Jund deck needs more mana fixing, though. So tune to spin. Samet was big last time. Samet was really big. Galta could be big too. But I do like Samet. Samut, however you pronounce it. Galta could be huge though. Always legends. What does this do?
if its power is two, destroy target creature with power two or less. Investigate. How's the color split? Eight five nine. So red is the easiest to cut. Six. I'd have to cut six cards if I cut red. It's not very realistic. But foul play is pretty good because it investigates. Transmogren's crown would also be good. Kind of a bootleg, um, what's it called? What is this? Or another non-token creature. You control dies. You may pay two life and exile it if you do create a token that's copy except it's a 1-1 one, one and has toxic. Mill three, then exile thing, make a zombie. Gain life equal number of zombies, and return to a component of controls that die. Exile it when you do. You may pay two and make a pest. That guy, visionary. Uh, I think the mayor is good. I think mayor of Avabruck, even if you don't have any other cards that work with it, it's still a good card. I think I'll take the Dragon Skull Summit, because I kind of have a full deck at this point. Luris, obviously an insane card, but again, I think I'm fine. What does this do? So, I think we're going Jund. This is a sorcery? This card sucks, actually. Ice Shaper. I think Skitter Beam is good. Young Pyromancer. Holy crap. Evolving Adaptive. What is this pack? This is, this is nuts. You're up, people. You control 10 or more treasures. I don't know how many things I have that make treasures, honestly. But I feel like Skitter Beam is good. Zvela, also not bad. Which lily is this? Not the best lily that there is. I kind of don't have anything else. Draw a card, exile a card. If you exile five, I, mean, da, 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 da. I think I'll just take the explore. Gutter bones would be more aggro, but I don't really think I'm aggro with this kind of a weird ass build. Rakdos, the showstopper, is pretty good. So is Platinum Angel. Flip a coin for each creature that isn't a demon, devil, or imp. Destroy each creature whose head comes up, whose coin comes up tails. See, this could be a one-sided board wipe against myself, though. It's the only bad thing about it. Cold Steel Heart. I'm practically building the same deck that I had last time, which I did not do on purpose. Captivating Crew came around. It is a 5-mana five 5-4 five flying. Let's be real here. Thopters. I have two constructs. I don't have any servos or anything that makes servos. So that's actually not that good. Still four cards over. But we're gonna we're gonna work that out somehow. So God Pharaoh's gift, maybe. my color split? 9, 6, 11. The 
pretty greedy mana base. Many instants and sorceries. Four total, so Sedgemore is not the best. It is a three mana, three two menace, but like... The three mana slot's pretty freaking bogged down right now. We're more in black green. With the what the fuck is this planes doing here anyway? Get that out of here. I'm more in green, right? Oh, what the? I think this is right. And we're gonna just try it. I have the mana rocks. I have legends to make him untap. Artifacts to make him untap. So Traxos should probably never be a dead card. But, like, if I draw one land, it gets pretty good. It would have to be a green land, though. That's the problem. Jadar. Make a dude. Ketra's Monument. So, depending on what he does, problem is all of his creature spells are also going to give him, yeah, that. Which means this gets a lot worse. Zero is even, two is even, alright. Yeah, see, I really need a forest, or I'm kind of dead. It's not a forest, but it's also not the worst. Um... Play Captivating Crew. He can hit me with the Lava Brink, but if he does, I'll swing back harder. Oh, that's scary. With Oketra's Monument out, that's really scary. I need a removal spell. Okay, so he's gonna hit me. No, he's not. Alright, smart boy. I need a forest. It's not a forest. Um, Two other artifacts and or creatures. Um... Only as a sorcery. Yeah, that's rough. Like, I can throw his Mondrak at him, but all he does is block, right? Yeah, I'll be real. I don't think there's anything I can do. I actually don't think I can beat this. Especially not without a forest. Harari's Wake, that's pretty good. Holy crap. Take away his Mondrak. It's 
swing with it at him. Um, I'm just gonna... Mm, I would feel bad conceding, though. I can't take away his lava brink though. Because I can't target it. Guess we'll just play the Null Priest. And do nothing. I really need green mana. And now he has 10 mana, so he can do like fucking anything. Emil. Makes double the tokens. Vivian. Make two t make two rhinos? That's what I would do. It's a forest! I mean, Samet can come down. Let me think. Don't quite have the mana to do what I want to do. Which is take away something and then use Extus. While sacrificing it. If I escape. That'll be kind of dangerous. But I might hit removal. I think I have to hold up Santa. I think I still die even if I do that. But. That's the way to try. Yeah, okay. This is, this is too much. They have too much. I don't have a board wipe. My mana base might be too greedy. But what does it look like to cut a color? Right? Like, if I cut red, I'd Sam it, escape, captivating, da 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 ba 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 and exchange, ba 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 Three, four. There's more than four. Well, honestly, it's... Being stuck on green was what hurt me. Like, if I had been stuck on red or black... It would have been a little slower, but I've still been able to do stuff. So I'm going to lean the mana base more into the primary color. And maybe only keep three land hands, honestly. for one light. Charmed, I'm sure. Whack. No, better be red. Yeah, better be red. Those two will work well together. Lava Brink. Odd or even? Even. Celestis, huh? Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Uh, I think I'll just play Lagamos here. Though.
since he'll start feeding the squirrel. You may think that cracking Fabled Passage will feed the squirrel. I just hope that he makes that mistake. Brood Moth, that's pretty damn good. Although I can just play Kinzu, maybe. How many double reds do I have? One. Only one, but I also have no double greens. So I probably should have played Celestis instead of Lagomos. Does Prince Charming combo with Broodmoth? Does Broodmoth even exile? No. Okay. It's a decent start. trying to allow me to use that. Okay, um... Alright, we're both growing our boards pretty well. Three, four, five, six, seven. be eight to play blood for the blood god or whatever this is called awaken the blood avatar okay lotus field it is gets rid of the swamps that's a choice oh because he has sarah paragon there's ravenous squirrel he doesn't have the green right now I wish this was destroy rather than sacrifice. Tech Wrecker doesn't really do anything. I mean, Tech Wrecker is a death toucher. I can still play Traxos. World grows. Get marched. Ouch. That hurts a lot. Ouch. I need a mana. That's not a mana. Um, I'm 
I'm gonna get rid of him. This card is not good. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Why would you do that during your upkeep? Sure. Oh, Descry, I see. And he did only give up one mana. And now the Prince has Flying, but it, now it also can't attack this turn. That's a choice. All right, take action. I will take the Rootbound Crag. We have to bet on our opponent not having removal. It's actually our only option at this point. I should have swung first. It does give everything haste. I can at least swing with Samet. Probably swing with the Squirrel. Platinum Angel, honestly. Alright, just live for one turn. That's the plan. That's cool. Platinum Angel gets all shiny when it stops you from losing. Play Baba La Saga. Oh yeah, it has haste. I don't think I have any cards that deal direct damage, though. Because he kind of has to block this. And then say he blocks Samet. He still takes 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's go with that. If he had removal, he would have slung it by now. Yep, that's still lethal. We got there. Platinum Angel did the work. Platinum Angel is the whole reason I won that game. Alright, very cool.
Weenie Boy, what a horrible name. Well, I can't keep that. I guess this'll have to do. Hey, look at that. Oh, he hit me. I didn't even really notice. Either of these stop it? Either of these stop it. Yeah, so. I don't have any artifacts, so I guess it's Baba La Saga. Yep, here he comes again. Ninjutsu? Oh, crescendo. Play Baba. Chitter Spitter. Let's get that out of here immediately before he makes even one squirrel off of it. Make a 1-1 one, one every turn? No, thank you. Maybe should have saved it. Maybe he's going to play something even scarier. Not sure that counts. Suppose you cast the... Oh, so his instance cost one less. Pretty good. Land. There we go. So I can play Kinzu. Or I can flash in Samut. Samut. I think I'll flash in Samut. Glorious Sunrise. Seems legit. Kind of tap wrong, I think. Nice. He didn't attack. Darn. That's 11 damage, bro. Are you sure? makes a 2-2. Two -two. Yep. Does he gain 3? No, he adds several green mana, I guess. Uh, why would I block? Like, unless he can pump and double strike, I'm not worried. Still has yet to amass though, so like he's gonna have a 2 2.
actually don't have a whole lot to lose by blocking, though. Right, he must have a fight spell or something. The way he's sitting around thinking about it. Will I fizzle? No. Life gain's pretty big. Yeah, I'd lose both of them, get an extra Bobola Saga, but he loses his only creature. And then all he has is a 2 2. I think that's worth it, actually. I do each opponent loses three life you gain three life and draw three cards seems legit um I do think killing Angrath is actually smarter than I wish a major opponent do stuff like sacrifice something as well So I think it's Baba, a land, and the clue. You don't. Let's just crack it to draw. Play Lagamos. I do still control a token, technically. Maria or Jadar? I think Maria. Almost got him dead. Well, now all I have to do is, like, pop off with Lasaga, and then he's dead. Which means any artifact kills him. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that really does much. Maybe you should have gained life there. And not attacked. Alright, let's keep going. Walking Plains, that's a fun name. Let's keep this. So this will be a swamp. Like, immediately, it'll be a swamp.
red. I'll probably have to play the Boseju as a land, which is not the best, but oh well. Seize the spoils. Now, what are your one drops gonna do now against my two drops? What are you gonna do, play a three drop? Huh? Well, not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Um, I'll take three. Oh, yeah. I would like that. Um, let's play Mario. I get why he killed the tech wrecker. Whirler Rogue. Here comes the unblockable, right? Kinzu, next turn. I can also instant speed buff the squirrel whenever I feel like it, basically. Sling Gang, Lieutenant! Okay, he's getting a lot of direct damage that I can't do anything about, and that worries me. some chump block potential. He can probably kill me this turn. If he's clever, I think he can kill me this turn. He doesn't even have to be that clever. Not the best he could have done, I don't think. things considered, because I can start using the Squirrel to gain life. Spider has reach.
Oh shit, that lets him make two things unblockable. I did not think about that at all. hitting back somehow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're still short. Sure. I think he's got me. I have to try. Yeah, he just pumps again and then I'm dead, I think. Unless I draw some one mana removal spell that I don't know I have. Yep, he's got me. Okay. We're not uh we're not quite out of it yet. This card's bad. Just plain bad. I'm just actually thinking what the heck could actually help me. Twin Shot Sniper. That's the one card that would have really helped me out. Even though it's not that great of a card. Like, if I had just played a 2-3 with Reach and killed this thing that let him made things unblockable, like, it's been a whole different game. Red, green with black cards. That sucks. Sure. Let's play Mayor. On the off chance my opponent does nothing, that is the better choice, I think. Even. Yep. Play Jadar. I guess that card's pretty darn good. symbol for protection? What the hell is it? Looks like little ghosts. Might be little shields, I'm not sure. No targets. I 
I mean, I think I just don't attack, though. I think I just do nothing. That way the mayor can flip. Well, he has something to do. Great. I think the tech wrecker is technically correct. I don't mind double spell, I think. four life draw four cards that's busted mortality spear to three, so if something has enough types, you could sacrifice even just one. Um... I think I have to kill the Cloud Blazer. Let's get that out of here. Baba's a human? Neat. Oh shit, draw four more cards. And you can do that whenever? Yeah, that's nuts. Land is good. Captivating crew is pretty good here. I'd rather be able to activate him right away, though.
Or I can let my boy flip and then play that. But I think I'm gonna go with the Thran Spider. Oh shit! I didn't think about that. Forgot she turns off my ETBs. Is token a card type? Is is token a card type? Because I could have been doing some shit. I mean, by the time you get an 8-8. Eight, eight. We're about to find out if Token is a card type. I may be giving up my, uh... It's pretty darn good, actually. I'll wait for now. Four, five, six, seven, yeah. So I still don't get the captivating crew. I think this has to be a swamp. cool I don't think I can do anything about this will this work nope the stop it upkeep doesn't even work that's nuts. You can just sacrifice all my best stuff. That's what I would do, is like tap La Saga, sacrifice itself and the captivating crew and fucking whatever else. Or just crack three lands. Ouch. All the red mana. Ouch. Yeah, that hurts a lot. And then he can make me swing out. Yeah, okay, he's got me. Yeah, okay. Emrakul is kind of impossible to beat. I still have enough to do another draft if I feel like it. But it is 10 at night, so uh, we'll see. I think I'm going to say peace out for now. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad draft.